sake of this drill, we're just going to start from having the overhook. Right? I don't care how you got the overhook. You already got it. Okay? So we're here. So then we got our second arm. Right? However, you pulled it across. You, you did the blind side. I don't care. You got it. Okay? So now, check out the king tuck. Come over the top. Grab the wrist. I don't care if they have a gi on. Let's turn this way so I can see. Oh, yeah. we can move. Get over here. I don't care if they have a gi on. I want you to grab the wrist. Right? And I'm pulling it out. I'm going to watch the right. I pull this out. Come right back. Pull that out. I call it choking down the wrist. Because what I don't want is to be here. Bend your hand. Relax your hand. Right? I, I need his wrist to bend. So I can't have his hand. I need the actual bone. You see what I'm saying? So when I up, come out of this, I hit into my own rib cage and I pull that forward, choke down so it folds. Then relax your hand like this, just like that. Grab with your index, comes across. I squeeze like a duck bill. Oh God. Right? Tighten the abs. Okay? One more time. Boom. Right? I got the cool grip. I'm here, I hit out, and I grab here, right? I release, knock it in. Can you pull that out? Not really. And that's all I need, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I say when I wrist right. it. Yeah. Now, now, but I thought you said sweep and attack. Okay. So we had a king tuck, right? Here he is. But he's not having it. Make a fist. No, nope, no. Nope. Okay. I told you about that offline online. Watch his hand. From the king tut to the sarcophagus. Understand? One more time. Hotep Jiu Jitsu, baby. That's right. Alright. <laughs> So, boom, 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 we here, right? Foot down, we have the crown. Hip out, grab the wrist, release the overhook, pull this out as you knock this in. Now I got the whole arm exposed, right? Tighten your, uh, your abs and hip forward as you fold this down, right? And now notice, this is in the way of me getting to his knee, right? So when I have this wrist control, I come all the way out to create this path, right? I come all the way out to come back here for the flower. The palm is down. I come this way. It's a rainbow. And then my hand comes palm up, and I catch this under as I lean forward, okay? It's palm under. Okay, and all you're doing is keeping my solar plexus right behind his tricep and staying heavy. I'm not squeezing into them. I'm letting gravity just be there when my palm is up. All right, be kind to your friends, but do it. <laughs> Peace! Slide that in, boom. Okay? Be mindful of going from one hip to the other, not in the middle. Because if you're in the middle, and especially if they're heavier, they're going to bear down and you can't leave. Right? So it's going to be problematic. Okay, back to work. Like you shouldn't be like tripping too heavy, you know what I'm saying? So let's look at this iron hook arm lock with no gi. So we're just gonna assume he's sitting upright. I'm gonna go get him, right? S grip, hold to me, right? So I come here and I do what I call the pledge of allegiance. Always be climbing this down the ribs, like a like a tarantula moving down your ribs. Because if I if I feel like I have it, just go ahead and pull out. Dang, I got problems. He's gonna start punching me or passing, right? But if I'm always here, go ahead, right? I'm always spider walking this. It's always active. The pressure is always going across. Okay? So sometimes if it's in the gi, he's gonna sit up and just try to do that. In which case I can just grab this and start that attacking. Okay? Normally I will grab thumb down. But sometimes he'll just post out. Just have his hand down. This is what we call the blind side. I'm gonna reach down and look away. Okay? Reaching down and looking away, and I'm, it's like a reverse karate chop just below the elbow. Okay. 
right? Back to the hurt locker, right? Sometimes with the bigger chested dudes, I'll grab my diagonal ankle. Turn this way. I get on, try to be on top of this shoulder, cross, squeeze, pull the heels to you, I'll be here. You can, you can do this hurt locker here, move around real quick, and you're just waiting. Just be patient, okay? As soon as you feel the big sigh or whatever, here, right? If I'm here, I bring, I bring the heel from one side, right? I'm here, here, here. Never losing the overhook. Loss of the overhook always results in world star activity because that's his nature. He's supposed to do it. He would disrespect you if he didn't do it. So you keep that overhook, right? Squeeze, heels to me, right? Ride the bull. Bam, okay? That's just so you can see the nogi variation. But now, I thought you said we're supposed to sweep them though. I did say that, didn't I? Right? Let's say I get here, cool grip. Differentiating from iron hook, right? Because the elbow, right? It's not the grip, it's the hip. I got the cool grip. Break his head down, always grabbing the crown. Not grabbing the nape, his neck, the crown. He cannot make eye contact with you, that's crucial. Look, look, look. <clears throat> what? Exactly. Right? Do not make a differentiation in your game. So we did that hook sweep, right? Bro, he's a black belt. He's not just gonna sit there and let you hook sweep him like that. He is a savage by nature. That's a sick ass throw, by the way. I like that. So we go. He already knows when I do this, the way that he ruins my life is to scoot into me and crush my hook. Okay, well now what? You're going to use the crushed hook as your new base. One more time. Just from the cool grip. We're not going to the iron. Inside, he crushes the hook, push into that crushed hook, <clears throat> and your hips switch sides. Foot goes back in, and now you have two butterflies. You sit up a little bit. On that one, you actually create the kazoosh point because your feet are here. So you kind of like sit up and just boot them back a little bit. Right, so I have all this. I sit up and I kick back on top. Okay? Go ahead and try that. Now she's gonna you're gonna take this arm, come over the top of her head, just so she can't move, right? She moves around and give her like three seconds of struggle. Okay, cool. Now take this hand, push her head that way, and throw this leg over the face. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was me being a white belt. No, 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 Put this foot on the mat. Just pull his arm that way as you hit that one. Yes. Now we close the bar. All the way, all the way. Yep. Bring your knees to you. Yep. Okay. So now, try to get out for a little bit. Try to get out, bro. Yes. Okay. When you're done, take it, this hand slide. Push his head that way as you hit, yeah. hit back. Move this leg over. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Keep going. Do the guy do like those little cat discussions on Instagram? I'm going to show you a slightly advanced way to break someone's arm and close guard. That I believe is the safest way to break someone's arm. 
don't believe I've come across a safer way. Before we talk about this arm lock, let's talk about like what makes doing the arm bar as we know it unsafe. This is important. So here we are. I'm going to show you the way that we did it in mountain going From here, coming behind, align the elbow with the knot in your belt. Put this foot on the hip. Notice my right leg is straight, but I'm pinching my knees in. Okay? Again, baby crunch, so there's all like shoulder blades off the mat. Now watch. As my hip goes this way, I use this as a stair. And as my hip goes out, my leg comes up. In jiu-jitsu, we often go like one, two, three, four, submission, right? But sometimes move two is a tandem movement, right? It's not just this, it's not just this. It's, you see how my head came over? You see how my leg came up and bites down? Now sit up a little bit. He can't because I'm breaking his posture with this leg, right? If I just go here, sit up. Bye, I got problems, right? Then I hit him with the Heisman, fly down, the thumb is up, and there's the tap, right? But you didn't even need to have a sense of what jujitsu is to know that if I'm here and I go here and he feels like punching me, go ahead and give me, bah, world star has begun, right? That's, that's just, you know, street fight one on one. That's gonna happen. We've all been like, damn, I probably knew jujitsu. He was getting his ass whooped. Happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the arm lock attack. I want you to just use whatever way you know to stop. Right? So here we go. Here it comes. Right? He pull, he's got his posture. He passes, and then again, yikes or punches. Okay. So I came up with this concept called the iron hook. The iron hook is an advanced overhook where I utilize my hip to stop his arm completely from moving while I have optimal angle and his posture is perfect. I start normally like this, thumb down, hand is here, just on my thigh. I'm gonna pull him to me and punch this up for the overhook. Boom, right? So now we're gonna pretend that this is just your jigsaw. So he puts his hand on my thigh to get ready to bail. This hand comes down. The hand that's here, that's on the lapel, will let go when his elbow crosses my solar plexus. Free arm. Bah. You can't stop that. This is called a cool grip, right? But now I'm gonna make it the iron hook. Foot comes down, I'm gonna drag this elbow to the mat when I hit out. Now this leg, ha, beam, bang, squeezing. Can you pull this right arm out? He cannot. This arm comes over the crown and I grab my own, I'm grabbing like the, the side of my tricep. He, if I don't have, I'll just cut my own tricep. All right, for like five seconds, try to get up, just try to get up. This is called the hurt blocker. He can't leave. He cannot leave, and he gets tired. When he gets tired, why can't he punch me? Because I remove the defending arm before I attack the arm I wanted. Okay? Let's look at that again. Actually, let me let you see it. Try to come real quick. <clears throat> so, again, I'm here. This hand is here. When I pull his, when I pull him to me. This hand is just gonna go straight up, okay? Okay? He, he puts his hand on my hip, because he's trying to leave. I grab it, pull it to me. As this arm comes across my solar plexus, this hand lets go, I spider walk it around. I'm trying to get just outside the elbow. Are you bridging it all the move that across? Or is it so like so what I do, so I have these what I call like baby oopas. So like, I come here, you know what I mean? I'll just kind of get that over. This is a cool grip, meaning like I have his elbow on my uh, like belly button, right? This is a cool grip. Also, look at me real quick. He can't look at you. 
Because if he can look at you, he can get posture. If he can get posture, he can plan to leave. None of that is acceptable. Put us down. I hip out. I want this elbow on the floor. Right? Over the crown. Move around quick. You just, I call this riding the bull. You're going to be pissed for about seven seconds. Then usually you'll hear a big sigh. That's when you know it's clear to attack. Push that off. Right? Iron hook arm bar. Let's try it. One, two. Meaning like, let's say I already got the overhook, right? I'm feeling kind of G up. Okay, oh my here. He puts his hand up, he's not having it. Okay, so I come palm down, right? Boom, boom, right? And look at my left arm, flare. He can't right because put that arm on the mat. That's no sweep. This is a sweep, right? Shrugging, flaring, right? I come here. Wow. Look at my butt going that way for the door, right? Now you would say, look at this guy's legs right now. Well, one, I'm not staying here all day, right? But two, if he tries to go anywhere, I have his upper torso. And even this, right? He ain't going nowhere, right? So then I try to get on this elbow point, sit up with urgency, right? Push back, push back, push back. Yeah. I forgot to see food. We got to wet food. Oh, exactly. Right? So then, sit up. No. Right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, the way that I do that is when you do that sit Like, if you're going to try to knock him over. Right? So you're like, boom. Right? And you're like, boom. And you're like, boom. And then you're like, bye, bye. Right. You're just reloading. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I've always believed that. And that is that especially at white and blue belt, as much as we talk about submission, because that's what we're here for, right? Just to be honest, right? We want to break stuff. We want to choke on them. Break the bound, right? But that's not always what's going to happen, right? Especially when you're tired. Especially when they're bigger. Especially if you're, you've got some kind of injury. Right? Because we always like to think about ourselves in an optimal space when it goes down. But a lot of times we're just not. You know what I'm saying? Er, this thing's, oh, what's going on? Right? And so when that happens, you still got to have a plan. And so what Chris Mataka says is that you need to have a sweep regiment that is serious. Because you can't tap everybody, especially from your back. You need to be able to have a serious sweep regiment. Right? Now, my school, Heroes Martial Arts, San Jose, California, you know how we do. The mantra is safety, position, and finish. First, you get yourself safe. Don't think about beating nobody's ass. Get safe, improve your position to its highest apex, and then break or choke whatever is left. That's the script. Safety, position, finish. If you stay on the bottom too long, you become unsafe. Right? That's why I'm saying go get them. Break them down. Bring them to you. Own limbs. Because if you don't, the freedom of movement is going to be, you're going to pay for that. You're going to feel it. One way, either in punching or pressure, you're going to feel it. Okay? So, what if I get all of that and then I can't finish them for whatever reason? My hand is kind of jacked up. Like, that's happened to me before. Like, my wrist is jammed. You think you're fixing to do something and you're like, oh, this hand don't work right now. Right? All of this stuff can happen. So, I started probably... In Blue Belt, I came up with this pendulum concept where I would attack people into sweeping opportunities or sweep so hard I can attack. You understand? You have to swing on this pendulum. If you're like, submission, 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 you're going to burn out. Because sometimes people are just like, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. And you start burning out. And then they're like, I'm alive now. What's happening? And you're burnt. Okay? So you got to be like, I can't tap them. I'm going to sweep them. I can't sweep them, thanks for the arm. Whatever, you gotta figure it out. So let's look at how we apply this here. So I got the overhook, I'm gonna try and sweep, but I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get this choke, but he defends, right? He's like, ah, he's not having it. 
Okay, shit, how much time is on the clock? Uh, 25 seconds. All right, so now let's talk about the anatomy of a sweep. For the rest of your life, if you listen to this, you can learn any sweep that you see or that someone's trying to show you. There is anatomy of a sweep. And if you understand this, you can always navigate. The first is, first question, what post am I removing? Answer, this arm, because this is where the overhook is, right? Second part, which direction is my opponent going in? Spoiler, it's most often in the direction of the post that you just removed. Sometimes it's not, sometimes it's back. Okay? Sometimes it's back, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna be in the direction of the post that you remove. And then, <clears throat> a two-part question. Where is the Kazushi point, and how do I initiate it? Right? I can tell you right now. He's a black belt from Pedro Sauer and Carlson, bro. He's not moving easily. He is rooted. It's one of the lineage points of Carlson people. You come from Carlson, Heavy base, pressure pass. That's coming, right? So if I'm here and he blocks the sweep, I got a problem, okay? So I need to know where the Kazushi, the off-balancing point is, and how I set it up. Let's turn this way, because I need to see something. So I'm here, boom, 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 boom. I went for the choke, he's not having it. Okay, now I gotta swim this to an underhook, right? And I grab here, right? I'm looking for whatever patch is there. Right, high into the shoulder blades. Okay, now I gotta create a Kazushi point. I've got to uncross and face the side I plan to sweep on. Foot goes down, I'm gonna go onto my right hip and it's gonna look vulnerable, but I'm not. I'm here, okay? Now, my guard is totally open and this is like against the theories of why you have a guard, but I'm not staying here. This foot is gonna go inside the knee. Okay? What is my hook? Yeah. It's only like this, this front half of my foot. Bam, at the inside of the knee. I'm not high into the thigh because that's where his, he's heavy at, right? I need to be by the knee, okay? Now, flaring this arm the entire time, I gotta, gotta sit up and get on this elbow, and that is the Kazushi point. When I sit up into him, his instincts are gonna say, I gotta push this guy back down because I have too many limbs. Push you back. The Kazushi point is what makes them light. But if I don't sit up into him, he'll stay rooted. And I've done that before. I got all this, and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I've got no Kazushi point, right? I've got the overhook, I've got my grip, fine. I went to attack, he's not having it. I come palm down, I push towards his armpit, and notice how I sit myself up again, right? There's a lot of little crunching happening here. I'm sitting myself up, getting this grip, and flaring. Move that arm. I need it. I need this arm, okay? Uncross all the way to the same hip as the overhook. That's the deal. You're getting on the same hip as the overhook. Boom, boom. Now I sit up, he pushes back. I'm on top now. And I still got this overhook all kinds of problems. I can go back to the choke. I can lock this arm. There's all kinds of stuff, okay? Run it! One, two. Let's do it five minutes each. Place and let the hand roll. Oh, oh, so so no, no, Yeah, yeah, yeah. 